Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light, AI Brightness, Energy Saving, 3 different controls that adjust the picture based on the light conditions in your room, and you can turn all of them off or have all 3 enabled at the same time. But how do they actually affect image quality? I wanted to find out for myself, so I performed grayscale and color measurements in 3 different scenarios. In a pitch black room, and with TV's ambient light sensor exposed to two different light intensities. All measurements were done using Porter Display's Kalman software on a 55-inch LG C5 OLED set to filmmaker mode. The input signal was HDR10 and white balance was adjusted to the D65 target using the two-point white balance controls. Let's start with the baseline measurements in a dark room with no light hitting the sensor. Here we can see the CIE 1976 UV color chart, RGB balance, as well as EOTF and luminance curves. White balance and color tracking are very accurate, with average Delta E2000 errors below 1. The electro-optical transfer function, or EOTF, is tracked correctly, and peak luminance is 1090 nits. Next, I enabled AI brightness and repeated the measurements. The results were identical, with only a very small difference in peak luminance. I then turned off AI brightness and enabled filmmaker mode ambient light. Once again, the measurements were identical, which is expected based on the UHD Alliance white paper. According to it, filmmaker mode ambient light does not affect the image in a dark room. Now, let's move on to the energy saving option. I disabled Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light and ran three measurements with energy saving enabled, using minimum brightness values of 0, 5 and 10. Here the situation changes noticeably. Color errors increased and the RGB balance wasn't as good as before. However, the biggest impact is in the EOTF and luminance measurements. With minimum brightness set to 0, Peak luminance dropped by about 40% down to 660 nits. Even with minimum brightness set to the maximum value of 10, peak luminance was still significantly lower than with the energy saving turned off. So far, these were the results in complete darkness. Now let's take a look at what happens when the ambient light sensor is exposed to light using two different brightness levels from the LED flashlight on my phone. With AI brightness enabled, there was still no measurable impact on image parameters, regardless of ambient light intensity. When I enabled Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light, I could clearly see the compensation algorithm engaging. Gamma was adjusted in the lower range without affecting overall screen luminance. The effect was stronger when the sensor was exposed to a brighter light. I also observed increased errors in RGB balance and color accuracy compared to the pitch black environment. Additionally, the color gamut became smaller as ambient brightness increased, something I did not observe with energy saving or AI brightness enabled. As for the energy saving option, it did not dim the screen as aggressively as it did in complete darkness, which was expected. With lower ambient light, peak luminance ranged from 848 to 933 nits, depending on the minimum brightness setting, with only minor changes to white balance. With higher ambient light levels, peak luminance was very close to the nominal value, with minimal impact on the RGB balance and color gamut. I also performed measurements with all three controls enabled simultaneously. As you can see from the images, all systems work together, energy saving reduces overall luminance, while filmmaker mode ambient light adjusts gamma. As for AI brightness, I still couldn't identify any measurable effect either during these tests or while watching real-world content. To summarize, this analysis confirms that Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light does adjust gamma based on ambient light levels, without affecting black level or peak luminance. It does, however, impact RGB balance and color gamut and it's unclear whether this is intentional or simply a result of LG's implementation. Energy saving also works as expected, and the minimum brightness setting gives you control over how much the image is dimmed. If you want the smallest impact, keep minimum brightness set to the maximum value. So which option should you use? 
If you watch content in a controlled environment and want the most consistent and accurate image, it's best to disable all automatic options. If your viewing environment changes and you're struggling with shadow detail but don't want to sacrifice screen luminance, Filmmaker Mode Ambient Light is a good choice. And finally, energy saving set to auto makes sense if you want a bright image during the day but a more comfortable brightness level in the evening or at night. What are your thoughts on these automatic picture controls? Let me know in the comments.